is going on YouTube? It's Chris back in the captain's quarters with yet another fine beer review as he unlocks his phone so we can get the information he needs because he's locked himself out. So tonight, <coughs> get my quiet voice on, we are going to be looking at one of Brewdog's probably most, I'd say it's probably one of the most popular beers at the moment, and it is the Brewdog's Lost Lager. So, what can we say about this? So I think this was Brewdog's first carbon neutral beer. I know Big Baldy's just reviewed this, but I've got it in the pump, so I've got to review it for you guys. So, where are we? Where are we? So, Brewdog Lost Lager has been around for a while. It's been around on the Perfect Draft for a while. It's just taken me a while to get around to reviewing it. I've always, I've got a stack of kegs there to get through. It's just ridiculous. But anyway, so what can we say? So Brewdog is Sessionable Lager. It is a 5.4%. It is a zesty little number, um, I think. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's, I think it's one of Brewdog's first carbon neutral beers. Um, it's created with, it uses, I think it's, 50% less water and also is made and is made with wind energy. Um, I don't know how they, how they work out if it's wind energy or normal energy, but anyway, it's meant to be carbon neutral. Um, there's a lot of different ones out and about at the moment. Um, there's some Lost Lager variations, some Blood Orange and all that sort of stuff. Um, but it is a very, very popular lager. Um, fortunately, the <coughs> Brewdog in Dundee have been kind enough to donate some glasses tonight for this. Uh, for this review, I didn't buy them off uh, Perfect Draft with Hops and Harmony, which is a big fucking <laughs> from what I understand. But I've not reviewed it yet. Yeah, it's meant to be a, a doozy. But anyway, so this little number, she's a 5.4%. Again, it's a sessionable lager. Very light, zesty. You know, it's just a nice, a nice beer to drink in the afternoon. When you're watching a football, you fancy, you know, I just fancy a drink, fancy a pint. You can just reach to your PD, pour yourself a beer, lost lager. And that'll sustain you all afternoon. You know, you can ban a few of these in quite easy, <laughs> quite easy. <laughs> I've done it myself. So, guys, I'll give her a pour. I'll give her a taste. I'll tell you what I think. Um, now, I, a lot of people, I, I want to just, I just want to, like, caveat this, right? I know there's a lot of Brewdog haters out there, especially with what they've just dropped. Okay? Now, this is purely my opinion on this. And if my opinion was the same as yours, it'd be really boring and you'd have nothing to slag me off in the comments about. But this is just my review on the lager, okay? So, here she is. There's me chalice. Let's get it in the pan. A bit headier, I think. Oh dear. I think it's sort of acceptable. <clears throat> now, to be fair, I have just done the Green Mountain one. I had to do it before I drank it. So let's have a look at Lost Lager. So there she is in all her glory. So if you can see that. There is a fair old bit of carbonation there, so the camera wants to focus. She's a fair bit of carbonation there, which is quite nice. Um, let's give her a smell. I'll tell you what I can smell, I'll tell you what I think. I've done it again, every time I do this. I'll be honest with you, there's not a lot there. It's going to go into it for the taste. Okay, so what we're getting from this, <clears throat> there's some hops in there, definitely some hops towards the end of it, lovely and cold, it recommends on the app at 3 degrees, so we've got the pump set at 3. It's just a very, very nice, clear, crisp lager. I mean, it's almost, almost, I'd say, in the Pilsner style of a lager. Um, but yeah, it's just very drinkable, very drinkable, very, very easy going. I 
there's no nasty bite at the end. It's just, it's hoppy. There's a little bit of zest. There's not a zest in that. I'm lying if I say that there's a zest, but let's see what it says on the website. It's not, I can't taste any zestiness in there or, you know, I just, it's very, just very, very drinkable, I think. I don't think it's something that you could, <clears throat> you know, it, the, the app recommends between three and four degrees. Chicken wings, ribeye steak and sal salami. Mm, it's a different one, that. I wouldn't say pair it with that, but it's very, very drinkable. Um, and it's just very light. So this is one of the th three kegs we've got on at the moment from Brewdog. Um, you know, it's, yeah, I was right, it's a Pilsner style. <clears throat> and he uses sapphire hops combined with vibrant citrus and herbal notes for an iconic lava taste, both crisp and refreshing. Perfect to pour at home today. So, yeah, I just, I can't, say I don't like it, I can't say I do, it's alright, it is alright, it isn't a Stella, it's not a, it's not a punk, I think, I think it's wrong to compare this and punk, but I think from a Brewdog tipple, I would go for a punk over a Lost Lager, whereas my missus will choose a Lost Lager every day of the week, she loves a Lost Lager, um, needs to say that's why it's on the, that's why we're only at two bars left on the machine, but, uh, and I was watching the rugby today, which England played shite, but anyway. So it's, I can't get any of the zestiness there, but it's very much a Pilsner style, very much. It's very crisp, I and mean, it's almost on the refreshing side. <clears throat> Excuse me, but do you know what? If I had to, if I had to give it a number, <clears throat> would it be in the top ten? I don't, do you know what? I think it would. If you just wanted a nice, easy, drinkable session lager, I'd say, yeah, put it in the top 10. It's only 4.5%, so you can knock them back. It's not going to kick you in the nuts like, I don't know, that Leffy Blanche. Oh, God. That's a strong old girl. Whew. Hopefully that'll come back in stock. That was a good keg. That was a good keg. You know, I think a lot of people say that Hertung Yang, Graham Pilsner, would be their top keg of the year. I would have to disagree with that. I would definitely say that I think the left Blanche was the was was the king of the king of the hill so far for me. But it's my opinion. So like I say, my opinion is different to everyone else's. But yeah. So for a lost lager, sessionable beer, definitely hundred percent recommend it. Great. Get your mates around. Get a telly on. Boom. Maybe some scampy fries. We said salam, I don't know. But anyway, that's what I reckon of this. I think it's a good sessionable lager. I think it's very drinkable. You know, and it's nice, refreshing. You, you can have a few. You can have a few. I'm not going to lie. You're going to get a bit of a wobble on, I think. But you're going to have a... You can have, just checking the hair. But you can definitely can definitely crack a few of these in. Like It's definitely not a lager that you're going to get... You're going to struggle with. It's just nice, refreshing, and yeah... It's a good drinking lager. You know that it's the the tastes there, the body, and the, you know the the mouth feels there, the body. It's not very watery. It's nice. It's just nice. It's just a nice lager. But anyway, I have absolutely waffled enough for you guys. Tell you what I think of Brewdog's Lost Lager. Do I think it's worth buying? Absolutely. I think it's around about. I'll just check my phone. It's about the thirty thirty. £7.90. Obviously, in Snocky Five are off there, so you're only down to 32 You know, if you use your 15%, you, you sub £30 for a keg. So you, you sub 30 so say £2.90 a pint. Definitely worth having to go at £2.90. You're not going to get that in Brewdog for £2.90, are you? And the dickhead with the loud exhaust strikes again. But anyway, you're not going to get that for £2.90 anywhere else. But do you know what? Check it out. Get yourself a keg of it. Give it a go. You know, you might not be the biggest Brewdog fan, but hey, it's worth a try. It's nice. It is nice. I will, you know, but I'm, what I'll do is I'll get some of the cans of the different flavoured ones and we'll play it off against each other and find out which one is good, which one's not so good. 
But anyway, this is Chris in the captain's quarters reviewing a lost lager from Brewdog from you. And I will get the new keg. I wasn't going to, but I think I better because I've just caught in the last video, I called it shite. So I did that. Yeah, well, anyway, guys, this is Chris in the captain's quarters with another review for you guys. Let me know what you think. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Give the video a like. Looks like things are going on with the channel. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. This is Chris. Peace out. Catch you the next one.